was, uh, we, we all take big steps. Everybody's kind of, we just, we took big steps before we started fighting. Everybody takes these big steps already. We're going to really focus on, we're going to take smaller, shorter steps. I'm going to explain why and kind of how. And that's, that's what we're going to do. But, did the people come back? It's just that. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna dance here at the beginning. Most people end up laughing on this one, so <laughs> relax, have fun. You're not gonna succeed. <laughs> the drill is just it works against you. So don't don't get down. You know, it's just gonna be a quick thing. We'll do like 30 seconds of this and have a discussion. Uh, we'll we'll go out here. Uh, if everybody wants to kind of get a partner in mind and stuff. Go ahead and partner up. We'll wait here a few more minutes. But uh, but uh, but that's what we're gonna do when we start here. Just a minute. We get two lines of people facing each other. Yeah, yeah, looking at partners. Oh my god, you guys are so dramatic. <laughs> Do a demo of what, what it is we're doing real fast. Uh, you people will be Mom. initiating, and you people will be following the start of the drill with an extension. One second. All right, so the point of this drill, we're going to do this with our hands. Touch your fingers. All right, so I am, I am the uh, initiator. So what I am doing is I'm moving, and his goal is to not touch my hands or body. Okay. And I can do all these things that I want within reason. I mean, if I do that, obviously. <laughs> so the idea here is I'm just going to kind of move around for about 30 seconds, and I'm trying to get your hands to run in my body or my hands. Okay? You can go up, down, in, out, change direction, whatever you want. So this first one is kind of get a feel for it. Get your partners, initiators. So you're the ones leading, so you're the ones setting up the right. steps. Alright, so yeah, one second, one second. Spread <laughs> <laughs> <Right> out. Spread <laughs> 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 out. Right, right, yeah, it's touching me, I guess. Alright, everybody get through. Alright, here we go. <laughs> hey, right? Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Go up, go down, go front, go back. Do all the things you can do to trick them. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Keep moving. <laughs> Keep moving, keep moving. <laughs> All right, that's good. <laughs> it's really hard, isn't it? <laughs> All right, so trade side, trade uh, initiation. So the other person's leading. Everybody good? And go. <laughs> that's as hard as for me, too. <laughs> Catch him! <laughs> Alright, here, let it get this. Alrighty, alrighty, leak in the hole. Alright, everybody, line back up here. Yeah, right. <laughs> Gather up and line up. I'm going to talk. I'm going to talk to you for a minute about this. Just line up like we were facing each other. So Lecture purple. time. <laughs> Alright. Everybody here? You may have noticed it's really hard. <laughs> and one of the things we, we learned from this drill. It's one of the things that makes it really hard. I mean, you're trying to look at so much information. You tend to stand up in this drill. And when you're standing up, you start leaning and change the direction. So what this, what I want you to keep in mind here, we're going to do this drill again. I want you to concentrate on lowering your hips and taking smaller steps. All right? So your goal here, your goal here is to not be standing up and waving. Yeah. It's to be down and moving back and forth. So try it like that. Everybody get your eyes, catch your breath for a second. Bye line. <laughs> Do your partner and find your face. I fight really tall. Yeah. And I was standing really tall and he had this change of direction. He got to me. I think you were you were a little bit lower the whole time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is gonna be All right, so everybody awesome. got the breath? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's good. Yeah, pick one person in your head. Alright, what are y'all leaving? And go. Remember, keep your hips lowered. Keep your hips yep. lowered. Try to slide your feet. <laughs> smaller steps, smaller steps. Try to slide your feet. Take real tiny steps. Barely pick them up. Remember, try to keep your hips down. Try to squat down. Keep your knees bent. All right, and hold. 
Yeah. All right. You feel better about that one, yeah. <laughs> so the people that just did it, you know, they're feeling sort of different. Yeah. 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 Right away that it's a little bit easier already. Well, it's harder than the Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So what I'd like to do is switch, and everyone else here for a few seconds. So let's go ahead and switch, get it in, and then we're going to get break. All right. All right. All right. I'm moving. Let's right. go. <laughs> Remember, keep your head lowered, keep your knees bent. Keep your knees bent. Keep your hips lowered. All right, we can hold. All right. All right, everybody come here, look at me, catch your breath. We'll talk to you for a second. So really, what I'm trying to explain here is that this is superior to this. And so when you're practicing, when you're training, your goal should be to consciously try to keep yourself and that's a, it's going to be hard. Your hips are going to be sore, your thighs get sore. It's important to try to stretch your thighs and hips. And as long as I want, I have a little 10 minute stretching workout. I can show you that targets these large muscle groups to help loosen you up to make it easier for you to be in the stance when you start fighting. Because the idea is, however you train, this is how you're going to, however you train to do something in practice, is how you're going to do it when you fight. It's pretty much how it's going to happen. You're not thinking about what you're doing, so the way you train and practice is what you're going to do. And if you spend your time tired, training, fighting like this, mm -hmm. that's going to become more of a habit. So try to focus your training on keeping yourself in a better stance. And if you just keep it in mind, it will become easier over the years. <laughs> just, just teach that. And you also notice from that drill, with these short, low to the ground steps, make it a lot easier to change direction yeah. in response to your opponent. Yeah. So the rest of this class is going to be talking about those types of steps and how to practice those. Everybody grab a drink, catch your breath, and we'll start right here in just a minute. Yeah. We just talked about these shorter, kind of lower, feet lower to the ground steps. Uh, we're going to talk about the eight steps we're going to concentrate on training for fighting. I think there is value in taking big, long steps. You can use it to trick people, change timing. But everybody really already kind of does that. We all say to take big steps. But the idea is to focus on taking shorter, choppier steps because it's not as natural. So we really just try to focus our training on that aspect of it to improve that drill. <laughs> and so what I'm going to show you are basically the eight steps you're going to use in relation to opponent and fighting. My opponent right here. Right here. So from the center of my opponent, I step forward. I can step back. <laughs> I can step left. Just look at these steps. My feet coming back together. I can step right. Step center. I can take these 45 degree steps in relation to my opponent. That's cup throw. And then 45 degree away step. These are basically the eight steps you want to use in fighting. And your goal is to string together a series of these steps in the course of a fight. You know, you can approach your opponent with a 45 degree step and do a straight step. You know, you can, a usual one is a, take the straight step and then the 45 step. So the idea is you're stringing these steps together. Duke Sean gave me a good point that I can share with everyone. In training, most of us already run away <laughs> when we feel threatened or when we feel overwhelmed. There's not a whole lot of value in training escaping. I think there is some, and we'll go over that later. But he really makes a good point that you should think of these eight steps as having five offensive steps, the side-to-side -side steps that keep you in range of your opponent, to keep everything close so you can change angles, these forward 45 floor steps. And you can think of three defensive steps. These are the steps you use defensively, going away from your opponent. It's really just a good way to think about the steps and remind yourself that I want to work on these steps. I want to work on the steps that threaten my opponent and not... Everybody runs away. The hard part is walking into your opponent and fighting. So your goal is to really keep that in mind. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to have us run a few drills to show you a way to kind of train your body how to do these steps. And uh, I'll show you real fast. Everybody grab your sword shield if you want. And I'll have everybody break up into two groups, and you guys will kind of run through this field I'm about to show you. This is a box drill. Made a little box. <laughs> so the idea here is we're going to work on our front, back, side, to side steps. So the way this drill is going to work is everybody's going to make a line. Person's going to step in here to start. These cones are your measure. And the idea is people take these big steps, and they don't even realize it. But you're going to go through it a couple times. So after your first time, see if you can speed up. Because you know you really want to be able to do this quick. Every step, both feet together. 
Every location. Both feet together. Everybody get it? Mm -hmm. All right, so first person in each box. Go. And you'll probably immediately realize that the steps seem very short. Yeah, they are small. <laughs> Every now and then you'll do it and realize you're way behind the cones. <laughs> oh man, I'm taking big steps. Yep. <laughs> the idea is to really, really work on these shorter steps. <laughs> they don't look short until you take it. That's right. Right, yeah. exactly. <laughs> They're like two foot steps, so yeah. it seems like pretty good steps. Right? That's a good idea. Everybody watch the people that are doing it. Make sure you remind them if they're taking too big a step. The idea is to keep these short steps, right? That's a normal step. <laughs> <laughs> well then you are a ringer. <laughs> this is hard for some of us. <laughs> yeah, just try to get through uh, two or three times and then once everybody's through we'll stop and do it in the opposite direction. So yeah, so just like in the uh, just like in the Kinzer's drill that we did to start, we all got to see the value of these shorter steps. This is, this is ha a way you can train them. This is really useful. Yeah. 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 Remember, try to keep your shorter steps. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to switch the direction. So, just like you just did. Just like you just did. Just like you just did. Hey, let's stop. You're going to start in the same spot. You're just instead of going back to start, you're going to go right and around the box the other direction. So just go around a couple times, yes, do it the other way. Right Albert, I forgot the question. Yeah. And my understanding is, just for clarification, is that our feet shouldn't cross each other, right? We're taking gathering steps, right? Like so, right, right. Like yeah. so. I probably didn't explain it very well. You never want to do this. Everybody see? You should never be in a situation where you're changing direction, you're crossing your feet to do it. You always bring the other foot together. So that's one of the things. Everybody did a pretty good job of that. But you want to, no matter what you're doing, feet together. Or, or if you want to do it like this, keep your feet in the same relationship. Never cross, never switch, trying to change direction. Uh-huh. Keep, keep your hips lowered and take these little short, jumpy steps, whatever you need. All right, so everybody go. To do more like what we were talking about. Oh, good. Oh. Don't, you should never cross that. Yeah, yeah. yeah you should never have to do that. Now we're going to the other direction. Go right. Uh, like, go right. Good job. We're bringing the feet together. All right, everybody through? All right. Yep. Yep. All right, so that worked on front, back, side to side. And then you may not notice, but it also worked on direction change. So that's one of the keys, being able to go. You know, go sideways, switch it back, be able to come out of a back pedal into the side steps. That's that's one of those kind of elements of this drill it's helping with. Mm -hmm. Now what we're gonna do is a very similar drill. We're gonna use the same setup, this is called an X drill. I'm trying to figure this out here. We're gonna add in the 45 degree step. The way this drill is gonna work, is you're gonna start in the same spot, just like the first time, you're gonna go back. This time you're gonna 45 to the center, 45 to the corner, these are pretty big steps. <laughs> and then you're gonna go back. 45 to the center, 45 to where you started, and done. So everybody got it? It's like this. Start back. Back, Start back, back center, corner, back, back, center, corner. All right? So let's go. <laughs> the 45 is pretty big. It's going to take a nice and close step to do that. A little bit bigger. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is where, we this is where we start to run into some <laughs> Changing direction, we work a lot of things. I'm not that, I'm not that clear about that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You want a little bit more explosive step on your 45? Yeah, I do. You want to end up triangulated here. Yeah, really shoot. Yeah, it's like trying to. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you really want to shoot for the location, so this is a little bit different change. Yeah. The nice thing is you go from a back pedal to an explosive. 
forward, so that's a good thing to practice. <laughs> Um, all right. yeah, actually, I'm going to give everybody a quick pointer here. Give everybody a real quick pointer about this drill. Let me keep in mind, you know, you know you're going to be going that way from here. Yeah. So set up by bringing these feet together and changing direction. So if you're doing this, or if you're doing this, you go back and go back. This is going to feel cross wrong. your legs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're going to really want to get your foot together for this change. Of, so the idea is, when you're backpedaling in a fight, it's really hard to stop and change direction. The way you do that is you lower your hips, bring your feet together, and change direction. So really keep that in mind. There you go. No, River, you are not allowed. You're done. You're done. You're cut off. No, 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 you're Watch us all. You're done. You're done. <laughs> Everybody get through it a couple times. I'm still waiting for my All right, all right, all right. Well, a little bit more. Just so you know, what we're gonna do is, you guys want to start while they're going. We're gonna do the same thing, starting from the other side. Okay. That looks much better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, that felt better. Yeah, the important thing is chambering correct here, so your right foot is forward. And then now that's, back that was an example of what we to show you real fast. Yeah. Yeah. Now because she's. Doing a step up. like this, mm -hmm. that change of direction is awesome. Half a step, 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 when you change the direction, you want to be close. It's almost like you're coming back to low on. But when you hit low, you're balanced, but you tip it over. This is what allows. Yeah. Um, I'm still hungover. Alright, you guys, uh, yeah, so the, the same thing is back, here's that back. Uh, yeah, the opposite way. Oh, we're doing it backwards. You're 45. Well, I've done this drill a lot, so you'll see one of the things I know is the direction I'm going to go. So I do this foot back and this foot back, so this change of direction. Then when I'm here, I put this foot back and this foot back, so this change of direction. Are you changing what foot goes backwards? Yeah. Outside leg backwards. <laughs> Outside leg backwards. <laughs> Outside leg is what you want to go back to. Sorry, uh, I should have listened to her that you did that. No, it's cool. I think we're doing it at the same time. Uh, yeah, everybody's doing great. Doing great. No, no, because they're all right. All right. So we just talked about the eight steps that you do. We'll specifically talk about backward 45 degree steps. I want to talk about not training going away. There's a reason I want to do this. What I want to show everyone is a demonstration. Come on, folks. So, we see this a lot. I, see, I study a lot of video in case you're wondering. So this is something I see a lot. The guy, my opponent, here's my opponent. He comes toward me, goes to throw a shot, and I do this. Right? Yeah. So he comes and attacks this, and I go back here and try to do this block. So I'm getting away from him by going backwards. So, that, everybody does that. Do it all the time. It doesn't really gain you a whole lot. I mean, all you do is narrow the angles. You're not changing his perspective or anything very much. And what you are doing, because you are leaving a hip exposed because you can't move that until you finish this big step. And so when you're trying to disengage from your opponent, this is actually an inferior step that has a lot of risk to it. There are going to be times when you just got to do it. And you realize that they're way over here and you've got to have your shield here, so you do that. Well, what I'm going to explain to you is a slightly different way to think about how to get away when you feel threatened like that. You usually get in here, uh, grab a sword and shield. So. When I do the step I just did, I just want you to come forward and try to throw a step. You can see, you can see kind of what happens. This hip is also here for the offside. I'm going to show you, back up a little bit. When he comes forward this time, if I see the 45 degree. Yeah. All right, so, okay, thank you. All right, so when you're doing it like this, 
when you're escaping, you back like this and you go to get escape like this, everybody sees what just happened, right? Yeah. Yeah. And you see this relationship of my defense to my opponent. When I do that, my risk, it changes. I have to pull my shield over to maintain that same defense. Yeah. Now when I'm going back and I do it like this, I've changed. this is in relation to my opponent as compared to straight back like this. If I go at the 45, you can see this relationship of my defense to him. I'm actually in a spot where I can reach him and try to reach him. And he can't, he can barely get to me. So this step gives you a lot of advantages and it keeps your defense in a better position in relation to your opponent. So this step causes a lot to happen. This step makes almost nothing happen. You're still in a great position to do whatever you want. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna train that step here. With what's called a W drill. Yeah. So everybody can see these cones, it's a little harder to see. I'll show you on this one. So what we're doing, is trying to train our body really take this nice explosive 45 degree step. So I got three cones here, two there, making a W. It goes like this, 45 degree step to the cone. Feet together, hips lower, change direction. 45 degree step to this cone. Feet together, hips lower, change direction. See how my feet are coming together? To here, 45 degree to here. So everybody's going to line up, go through one direction. Once everybody's through one direction, go back the other direction. We go all the way through the line, yep. Uh, yeah, just, no, just the one just side, sorry. So sorry. One this w. is you guys and this is those. Oh, okay, got it. The two groups, sorry. Um, one second. Uh, no, start where he's at. And everyone's going to move up with a line. The line's going to move over here. Once I kill through time, start here and go back in. So, we're starting with starting on. He's voting for the chair to start. Yeah, start where Walrick is. Everybody line up over here. Gonna fart rate me. I don't care. Gonna be okay. What happens is Walrick's going to come through. And as soon as Walrick gets that idea, next person gets You're going to get to here. Try to not hit the cameraman and clear out to the next person. Once everybody's through, Walrick will come back to here and start back the other direction. Yeah, so. So on this one, it might be useful. Whenever you see everyone, you really want to yeah, yeah. You really want to try to get the right angle and make sure you know where you're going. And then the next time through, try to do it without looking at the phone. Try to keep your eyes focused forward. No, no, no. Oh, yeah. Keep looking at forward. Forward, forward. That always goes down. There you go. Oh, you're Yeah. 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 Keep looking at all of you. <laughs> I figured out it's called W drill. Yeah, crunch, crunch every time. Right foot forward. Just take this, not the first time. Okay, step up. Right foot. I guess the right foot leads to the whole thing. Yeah. Right yeah. I, I swap. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, I thought it was coming out. So. I think yeah. it's a right foot led every time, but it, it might also leave when I go that way. So. <laughs> <laughs> this was the value of drills, though. Once yeah. Right? Yeah. What? So what we learned, I ran this class at past, and what we learned was after about three or four weeks, the people that did it, they got easy. Yeah. And then they were doing that in fights. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, think about taking a step in fights, right? Just start doing it, exactly what they're used to. So it doesn't take you that long. As long as you eat it, until your body gets tired. Yeah, well, no, no. Everybody should end up here, and then you'll go back. You'll go the other direction. And then you'll come back here. Uh, oh, yes. Oh, okay. Sorry. 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 <laughs> 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 nice. Okay. Hey, a lot of us, uh, we get bored in class, so we actually we start doing position. this, and then we get to the front of the front shop. That's what you do. You're doing the kind of pepper. Your mom's on track. You know? Not much to it. Once you get the steps comfortable, you're trying to get better at it. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is something you guys can do at, if you're at practice. A really neat thing is to have the sort of tilt it again. So, so, yeah, so what you're going to do is you're just going to pace her across this line so that she can look at you and concentrate. No, 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 no. no. Just go straight, straight across. Left. You're just gonna oh, go straight left. Yeah. No, you're, slow. You're, 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 gonna you're gonna do, do the thing, but Christine, he's gonna go straight. He's gonna go back. He's going straight. Just keep an eye contact. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Do the drill. Mm. Okay, you keep it.
And this gives her the reference of the fighter she's in relation to, right? So this is a useful thing you can add at practice. <laughs> Alright, everybody go through again. <laughs> yeah, it does. I don't know if you guys saw that, but if you want to take this drill to practice and do something, a really useful idea. Who's next? So what you do is you get their opponent, right? Now go for the drill. So what I'm doing is I'm pacing for him. So he comes back to me, 45. Do you see? It gives him a frame of reference, and this is what he's trying to get to. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I got him. Thank you for bleeding dirt for me. Bring it in, guys. Sorry. This is going to go ahead and wrap up real fast. Alright, so, those little, these are simple drills. My idea here is, you know, everybody goes to their practice or they got a new guy who's just like, man, my feet just, it's not working. These are drills and good examples that you can try. The idea is it, it explains it and then shows you how to practice. So I just wanted you guys to go through enough to feel how, how they feel and feel a difference of a couple of reps. I will tell you unequivocally, I believe, doing this for a, once a week for like three or four weeks in a row makes a huge difference. I got to see this firsthand at half. The few people that really came consistently, they just started doing these steps when they fought. They didn't even have to think about it anymore because they were so used to it. So there is a lot of value. And I recommend, of the drills we did, you do five reps each direction. That's all you gotta do. Five reps each direction. And that's a nice little workout. You know, and the more you do it, the faster you'll get, the more comfortable you'll get, and the better you'll get at lowering your hips and changing that direction. Because it's one of the big values out of this, how to break out of this habit that everybody has of standing up and leaning back to get away. You know, yep. we all probably understand if, if I'm going backwards and I can just stop and go sideways, they're going to take another step, right? Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of advantage to this. And that's really kind of the goal, just give you guys this little bit different perspective and, and, and recognize that these short steps have an advantage and that we should be practicing them. So, so thanks everybody. I did a great job. I hope. Can we try dancing again before we go? If anybody can do anything they want. If you want me to call it and watch it, I'll do that. Dude, we got to figure out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Great class. Thank you very much.